Rolling pins are one of the oldest kitchen tools and hold a special place in history. Today we welcome Ellen Vishnai to share with us her exquisite rolling pin collection and to tell us some of her favorite stories about these pins. Welcome, Ellen. Thank you. It's really nice to have you here. And you live right nearby in Reading, Connecticut. Yes, we're practically neighbors. We are, we are. So you have a rather impressive and fabulous rolling pin collection. When did you start collecting? I would say about 30 years ago, I chaired an arts and crafts fair in Reading. Uh -huh. And we made 200 pies for the fair. And the women of the congregation came, and I was amazed. And everyone how, had a different Yes, <laughs> and a different story, and the rolling pins had a different history. Then as a fledgling antiquer, I realized this was a great place to start collecting. And so just very organically over the course of 30 years, I've acquired a nice group of pins. How many pins in your collection would you say? I would say I've just started with about 100. <gasps> Amazing, and there's quite a variety in front of us. What years does your collection span? I would say that some of the oldest pins are from the 1850s. Oh, uh, really? This is an 1850? Yes. Wow, so it's porcelain. It is porcelain. With wooden handles. Yes, and that makes a difference in terms of value. But I think any collector of rolling pins will tell you the monetary value of the rolling pin is not the important thing <laughs> when you're collecting rolling pins. It's often uh, what the utilitarian value right. is. This uh, Springerling rolling pin makes beautiful... Pressed cookies, right? Pressed cookies yeah. for the holidays. Yeah, and embossing the, uh, the cookies with a particular design. So how old would that be? I would say that's 50, yeah. you know, 60 years old. And what about these blown glass ones? Well, these really caught my eye when I started collecting, and they actually started with glass blowers just practicing their craft with oh. leftover glass. And when they took these home, they immediately were put to good use and became quite popular. And so uh, a and new why? industry. Why, why would a glass rolling pin become popular? Because it stays cool. Oh, I see. Uh, because it's very smooth. The dough is less likely to stick. So they took off as an industry of their own. This particular one caught my eye because you can fill it with ice water. Yes, and in the day, during the spice trades, salt was highly taxed. Oh. And salt and other spices would be put here. Oh, in the rolling pin. In pens. the rolling pin. Oh, so were these made in Asia? Many different ports of call. Certainly I in see. England, Bristol, England, oh, was okay. a birthplace of a lot of these hollow pins. Now, why would this have corn in it? For decoration. Oh, for decoration. For, to show you that it's it can heavy. fill a lot and increases its, yeah, it's utilitarian right. use. It's very heavy and, and mm -hmm. it sounds nice when you're rolling. Yes. Yeah, very nice. I think all of these rolling pins are works oh, of oh, art. Oh, they are. Well, what about mm -hmm. this painted one? Why would anybody paint a rolling pin? Isn't that odd? Yeah. This was from my baker in Danbury, Connecticut. And when he retired, I asked him, he was an Italian baker. I asked him for the rolling pin, and I was so happy when he said I could have it. Mm. And I hung it proudly on my wall, and then I realized it was a painted rolling pin. And oh, you I didn't wondered, know? Oh. well, of course, but it hadn't occurred oh, to me that so I, I might have been ingesting the blue paint. He would go to Italy and bring back new blue rolling pins. But what he did was he kept a sock on the rolling pin. Like my mother. My mother always had. It was supposed to be more hygienic. And it's also supposed to keep the moisture from the rolling pin and keep the rolling pin from warping. Oh. What about those? These, More for as we know, are or something? creating breadcrumbs. Oh. And the interesting story about this, if you're collecting, the wider the ridge coarser. is for a coarser oat. And this would be a newer one for making breadcrumbs out of crackers or stale bread. Now, these are all beautiful. How do you display such a collection? I take a wrought iron towel holder where you roll the towels, mm -hmm. and I put my rolling pins in them, and they all go across the walls of my kitchen. Oh, how nice. And there's so many different ways to do it. I'll have several sizes of blue hollow pins, and so it's nice to put them together, but to see them with all the different textures, it looks like a bouquet of rolling pins, it does. and I love it. What about this copper one? I've never seen a copper one. Copper one. rolling pins are often used for making candy. So it would absorb the heat and keep yes. hot. Yes, yes. Oh, that's interesting. And when you go to a candy kitchen, they seem to use copper exclusively. Oh. These are mid-century, and it's my understanding that you could 
send away with box tops. Well, I think, I, think we I love had, this. We had something like this. Yes. It's the same color as old bathrooms. Yes. Pink and pale green. Yes, and you can find and them in yellow pale also. Blue, right. They were just so similar. Yes. And they're, st they're wood, painted wood, but mm -hmm. this, this feels like, oh, that's yeah. like a bake lighter of yes. plastic. Yes. Yes. And those are actually quite collectible. And I like the ball bearing rolling pins too, yes. even though this has ball bearings in it. So, because this rolls so easily and quietly. Beautiful. What do you use? This is the one I use a lot, and it's my mom's. Oh, that's and nice. And again, with all of the history of rolling pins, it's nice to have this history connected to my, me. My mom had I'm, one like this. That yes. she, it was her favorite, ball bearing. She loved the ball bearings. And hers was, of course, unpainted, but that's what she rolled all her krushiki dough, her pierogi dough, mm -hmm. and she liked the bigger the better because she wanted to do big areas of dough. She was cooking for a family. Oh, she was. Eight <laughs> people all there the time. There you go. Right. So. Well, thank you very much for sharing your love, especially, and passion and knowledge about uh, rolling pins with us and, and for bringing just a small portion, but an interesting portion of your collection. Thank you so very much. Thank you.